What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and in this video I'm going to show you some of the new features in OBS Bot's uh, OBS Bot Center. Now before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed, so be sure you click on that sub or thanks button below. So onto the video itself, on the left side here we have the OBS Bot console. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the features here because they're actually really, really cool. Now right now we just have normal tracking on, so if I move to the right and left it will track where I go um, and kind of keep me centered, which is how it's supposed to. Um, but we can also uh, change some of these um, styles of moving back and forth. So we can either have a slow tilt or a fast tilt. We can have upper body. We can have a close up. We can have lower body for some reason. And we can have headless. So if I'm working on something with my hands and I don't want my face to show, um, it will crop out my face and just show what I'm doing with my hands. Uh, so let me go back to normal tracking because we want uh, my whole face to be here and it's going to go ahead and zoom out now. Very smooth transitions as well. And we're going to look at some of these different modes here. So the first mode we're going to look at is desk mode. So if I hit desk mode, it's going to look down and you can see that even though this is uh, supposed to be kind of skewed because it's looking down at an angle and you can see that my hands are skewed. It's actually showing this properly. So the, the mic looks all weird and goofy, but anything on the desk itself, it's kind of hard to line up here. Anything on the desk itself is properly skewed so that you can see it um, correctly. If we were to turn off desk mode and then scroll down to see this, this is what it actually looks like. In no way would this be readable? But as soon as we turn on desk mode, it flips the camera and it skews it so that's the appropriate size. Very, very cool functionality. Similarly, if we uh, go back to normal mode here, here we are. And if we go to whiteboard, you're gonna see it's gonna go over to the screens over there, find what it thinks is a whiteboard, in this case a screen, and it's going to also skew it so that it's perfectly aligned on the screen. So if I go over there and I start writing stuff or whatever, it's going to be perfectly flat. Now again, if I go back to a normal view here, you'll see that that is not flat in any way. It's actually very skewed here. So it's really cool that it's able to um, adjust that on the fly. Similarly, we choose hand mode and it's going to track my hand. And you can see here, wherever my hand goes, it follows. Pretty cool. You can also choose group. So if there is more than one person on the screen, it will find them. Obviously there isn't more than one person on the screen, so it's not going to really do anything here. But that's very cool functionality. We also have um, direct control of the gimbal, so we can choose to move left or right, however we see fit. And then if we go back up and choose tracking again, it will go back to normal. We can also change our field of view from wide to medium and narrow and you can see that this is still very high quality because there is a 4k sensor in this so it's going to get a very high quality uh, feed um, but i'm going to go ahead and go back to wide and then we can zoom out we can zoom in and and it looks pretty good even zoomed in right now we can go to image and we have different exposure modes so we can choose auto exposure or we can turn auto exposure off and adjust the shutter speed and ISO independently. So lots of control there. I'm gonna leave it on because it does a pretty good job of it. You also have anti-flicker options, which is really useful. I actually have lights in uh, my office that cause a flicker. Um, so by switching these, you no longer see that. I don't know if switching this, you can kind of see the bar show up when I switch it. Um, but that's a very useful feature that all webcams should have. Uh, we have automatic white balance, or we can turn that off and balance the scene ourselves and then individual image options such as contrast saturation sharpness and hue so we can increase the sharpness quite a bit and it's super super sharp and then we can lower it quite a bit and it's a little blurry um keeping everything at 50 generally is all right in this sense uh, we can go to more and um, you'll see that it has sleep modes and you can even have it show a background when it goes to sleep that says kind of like be right back on the camera which is very useful and then there's gesture control and voice control as well. So you can actually say like, you know, zoom in closer. Pretty cool, right? Zoom out further. So you can use your voice to actually control the camera, which is super, super useful, obviously. We also have a surprising amount of features for the noise uh, or microphone as well. So we have noise canceling. 
uh, which is really nice. We can reduce the uh, noise in the background. We have automatic gain control, or we can disable the microphone completely. And then we even have some beauty features. If we click on beauty right here, you'll see that a box comes up that we can add a bit of uh, bokeh blur effect in the background and we can use different retouching techniques and filters as well. Now we do need to switch to the uh, virtual camera to show this, but overall, extremely, extremely impressive offering from OBS Bot. Uh, a lot of great features, especially for education, I would say, because of those uh, desk mode and whiteboard modes. It's great for uploading tutorials and stuff. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and hope you're good. Administrative elevator command We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view He keeps it fresh, always brings something new That's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?